Hello everyone. We have a common death header here from Sydney area and today I will try to show you how teeth feeding is done. Now the difference between force feeding and teeth feeding is on the force feeding you basically push the prey item down an animal's throat. On teeth feeding you're bugging an animal to a certain degree that it bites and eats. Um, both of them are stressful to the snake but some snakes are born without a proper feeding response and they need to be fed this way and uh, obviously teeth feeding is much less stressful on the animal so I will try to feed this girl with a fuzzy and I will just try to get her to bite and hold so let's see if it works out first always try for the natural bite response that you would see from a death header but as you can see she is avoiding the animal and she's not trying to bite so after this we are trying to get her to bite by touching her tail touching her head and doing everything we can to piss her off so we get a natural bite response now I'm trying to do this while keeping her at frame as you can see even getting her to bite is not that easy huh? so we are getting there I think she is getting agitated and trying to bite there we go you see what we did we just pushed the animal to her limit where she bit quite naturally and we didn't force anything down her throat we didn't grab her we didn't get into the strike range there was no danger for us and there was only minimal stress for the snake and now her natural response is to run away and she's trying to run away with the mouse in her, ha in her mouth but the good thing is she's still grabbing the mouse so she's still interested in feeding otherwise she would have let the mouse go already and then we would have to tease her again But I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And of course she needs to go off camera to feed, right? Just to get another layer of difficulty for us to be, to be able to film this procedure. Now this was an easy teeth feeding session, relatively easy because it didn't take her too long to bite. In some cases it will take the snake you know 5-10 minutes to bite and during that process of uh, agitation 
they get obviously they get stressed and they sometimes defecate into the container that you're trying to feed them uh, this is one of the stress responses of snake basically uh, defecating and creating a foul smell but right now as you can see she bit uh, relatively quickly and she's swallowing relatively quickly so we are alright now the necessity of this procedures is um, difficult to explain to someone who has never kept snakes uh, some snakes are born almost programmed to die they do not feed some snakes only feed on lizard prey when they are young or amphibian prey when they are young so they don't like mice and rats which we use for feeding uh, and these snakes they, they either need to be force fed which may take a shorter time but puts a lot of risk on the keeper and destroys the keeper snake trust or they have to be teased fed like what we just saw and I avoid force feeding as much as I can because first I don't want to put my fingers near a venomous snake's mouth second really you can injure the snake very easily um, you can actually put off the snake from the feeding process much longer if I if I have to spend half an hour teasing a snake for it to bite I will happily spend that half an hour instead of just spending two minutes on a force feeding but anyway um, she's almost done again this is a common death header a Cantophis antarcticus from Sydney area she has this beautiful red color and she's definitely one of the gems in my collection so I would be very unhappy if something happens to her therefore I take my time every week to feed her like this and I'm sure that she will catch up and start eating regularly and normally like a uh, normal death adder um, probably in a couple months or so her brother never required teeth feeding he is crazy and he will attack anything that is within his um, strike distance Alright, she is basically done and when she completely finishes I'll just put her back to her cage and she will be alone for another week except for occasional waterings. Again, uh, when you have snakes like this keep the stress to a minimum level. Do not mess with them unless you have to. Leave them alone on a stress-free environment with regular feeding eventually their natural instincts will kick in and they will start eating regularly alright I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys will have a great week bye guys just to contrast I wanted to add this to the end this is how a regular feeding response should be like boom <laughs> alright bye